Hello and welcome to all. This is step number 8014 and in this video I will talk about AIS. In today's world, traffic is everywhere on roads and also on sea routes. Large vessels, small vessels, tankers, containers lined up for loading and discharging. In such cases, the Vessel Traffic Information Service itself will not be able to call the ship and pass the specific information. Wait, now a system called AIS is solving these problems. In SOLAS 2000 Amendment Chapter 5 Regulation 19.2.4, IMO has laid down a schedule and made carriage of AIS mandatory. New ships above 300 gross tonnage constructed on or after 1st July 2002 and engaged on international voyages shall have the AIS fitted. Now let us see the concept of AIS. It is a SIP board broadcast transponder system which operate in the VHF mobile maritime band. Through this band, ships continuously transmit data to the other vessels in the vicinity. The system coverage range is similar to that of VHF application and it depends on the height of the antenna. The typical value to be expected Expected at the sea is nominally 20 nautical mile. The what are the frequencies of transmission? Two VHF channel is dedicated by the ITU for their transmission. These frequencies are follows: AIS1 frequency 16.975 megahertz, channel 87B. AIS2 frequency 162.025 megahertz, channel 88B. The IMO has specified three standard message types, the static message, the dynamic message and the voice related message. In this video, you can see the uh, various type of data which come under these three categories. AIS are divided into two classes, class A and class B. And AIS which referred to in the SOLAS convention is often termed as AIS class A. Whereas the AIS which is not referred in the SOLAS convention is termed as AIS class B or you can say that the AIS which is carried by the SOLAS vessels is known as AIS class A and the AIS which is intended for the use on known SOLAS vessels is termed as AIS class B. Now let us see the limitations of the AIS. First, the officer of watch must be aware that the non-SOLAS vessels might not be fitted with the AIS. Second. The officer of watch should always be aware that the information received by AIS does not give complete picture of the situation. Third, there may be error in the information received. Fourth, poorly calibrated or configured ship sensors might lead to incorrect information being transmitted. So this much is important from this video and hope you have liked it. Thank you.